Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be upgrading my hard drive to a 2 terabyte M.2 SSD. The original hard drive here in the laptop is 512 gigabyte. It's pretty small. I mean, after a couple of games, you're probably going to run out of space. So I like to install this M.2 and a fresh install of my Windows that runs in it. Okay, so you need a couple of things here. What I'll do is I'll list it down in the description below. Uh, go check it out. Where I'll list where you can get this, that, and a bunch of tools that you need to uh, upgrade your computer. All right, first thing I like to do is to get myself a Phillips screwdriver. This is the 1.5. And let's go ahead and remove the screws. And the screws at the bottom is a lot shorter compared to the one on the top here. All right, once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and remove the back cover. What I like to do is try to find the side corner, which the opening is a lot easier to get in. Get a plastic prying tool to kind of pry it open on the side. Okay, once you have removed the back cover, you then now can upgrade the hard drive. There are two ways to do it. Uh, one, like I said, is to fresh install the um, windows on it, or you can clone it from the old hard drive to the new one. So in this video, we won't talk about the cloning. We are just going to go straight into changing out the 2 terabyte M2 hard drive, okay? The next step is to remove that heat sink. Should I disconnect the battery? Yes, you should, but it's not necessary. But what I'll do is I'll just do it for you here. All you have to do is to slide the connector down. You can see that the connector here is right underneath that right in the middle just slide it down and that should do it and once we have removed the three screws that is the heat sink screw remove that and now you can just slide the uh, heat sink out here is the 512 gigabyte remove the screw and slide it to your right Okay, 512 gigabyte M.2 SSD. We're gonna change it out to this one here, to the two terabyte. Let's go ahead and uh, cut the seal. That is the two terabyte M2 SSD drive. All you have to do is 45 degree angle and slide it in. Go ahead and install it. So we have the screw that go back in to secure the hard drive. And do not forget the heat sink. 
and there are three screws holding down the heat sink. All the screws are the same, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, again, I just mentioned that there are two ways to do it. One of them is to fresh install your windows because I just installed a brand new M2 drive here. So it doesn't have window operating system. Therefore, the computer wouldn't boot. You can buy one of these. This is the USB Windows 10 installer. You can stick the USB in and do the window fresh install and you should have a brand new windows. Or what you can do is you can buy one of these this is what we call the USB adapter. You can insert your old M.2 drive in here. Okay, once you insert the M.2 drive, your old M.2. So with the uh, M.2 USB adapter on this one, what you can do is you can clone it over from the old hard drive into your new two terabyte M2 drive. You can clone it over. What you can do is just stick it in and definitely you're missing one piece is the Acronis software. Uh, Acronis software, I don't have it here, I can't show it to you, but um, it's a cloning software where you can clone from one drive to another. I'll link it down description below for you to go ahead and check it out. Um, apologize that I don't have it. It uh, wasn't my intention to clone it over. I'm planning to fresh install these windows in the two, two terabyte hard drive. All right, um, let's go ahead and finish up the job. We have to insert and install the uh, plastic cover here. What I like to do is to align here on the top first. Make sure the top is all clip on. Everything is good and press it down on the bottom part. Have all the screws going back in first. And this tiny screw here for the bottom. Okay, once you have done with that process, I like to turn on the computer and see if the BIOS recognize the two terabyte hard drive. So let's take a look here. Maybe the bed. Oh, forgot to reconnect the battery. That is my mistake. Definitely, definitely forgot to reconnect the battery. But I'll go ahead and reconnect it after. What I like to do is plug in the charger and do a direct boot. See if I can boot up the computer. Um, I, again, usually I never disconnect the battery. It's just that my habit, I don't do it. It's, it is not necessary. But for the video purpose, I'm doing it. Does it turn on? There you go. It's turning on. I can see that little white light and it says checking media so that means there's no windows installed but i uh, see if i can see it in the bios mm. all right here is the bios and Let's go to more settings. And definitely here shows that Samsung SSD Evo 970 plus two terabyte. 
All right, so I can see that the hard drive is installed. It's recognized by the computer. The next step is to go ahead and install the Windows and I'll be all set. Thanks for watching and I'll remind myself to reconnect the battery after this video.